Hi there. One of my favorite functions is the greatest integer function. What's this? You've never heard of the greatest integer function? So the greatest integer function, which we denote by these funny bracket thingies, uh, takes, a, takes a real number x and outputs the greatest integer that's less than or equal to x. Recall that the integers are the set containing the positive whole numbers, 0, and the negative whole numbers. And if you want an example of this, well, positive whole numbers are numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. 0, well, we all know what 0 is. 0 is just 0. And negative whole numbers are numbers like negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and so on. So any function from the real numbers to the real numbers can be plotted. Let's, let's go ahead and plot the greatest integer function. So here we have a plot of the greatest integer function. Let's see if we can explain why the plot looks the way it does. So consider the number 0.5. When we evaluate the greatest integer function at 0.5, we get 0 because 0 is the greatest integer that's less than or equal to 0.5. Let's look at the graph again. So see, 0.5 has a uh, y value of 0. So the greatest integer does sends it to 0. Let's do another example. So now, instead of 0.5, let's look at 2. What's the greatest integer that's less than or equal to 2. So that's what this symbol means. It means you find the greatest integer that's less than or equal to 2. Well, this is equal to, well, the greatest integer that's less than or equal to 2 is clearly 2. And if we look at our graph again, go over to 2. This whole means that we ignore it and we see that our function's value is in fact 2. And let's do one more example. How about negative 3. Okay, so what's the greatest what's the greatest integer that's less than or equal to negative 3? Well, uh, let's see. The greatest integer is it's going to be negative 3 again. So let's look at the graph. So here we go. So negative 3, the, it's an integer itself and it is the greatest integer that's less than or equal to negative 3. So now we know the greatest integer function. It, it's really just a function that rounds down. So here's the definition of the greatest integer function again. No, it's not really a formula. It's more of a concept. Remember, all functions are, are mapping such that for every value in the domain, there is exactly one value in the range. And here is the plot of the greatest integer function. It's a little different than many of the plots you're looking for. It's not continuous. There's little jumps here and there. We've got these funny filled in circles and not filled in circles, but this one just means that the function's not here, it's up there. So this is what the function looks like when you plot it. The greatest integer function is a good function to have around. It's simple enough that it's easy to understand, yet it's complicated enough that it gives insight on some concepts in calculus. Now let's go do some math.